What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. I just wanted to start things off by saying thank you to you guys. So many amazing comments, positive comments. Seem you guys really did like this generator build that I did last episode and uh, that makes me so happy. I'm just, I'm just bursting with confidence now knowing that the more cyberpunk builds we build throughout the city, the better and better I'm going to get at it. And yeah, thanks to B-dubs and help from others, I, I'm starting to get the hang of this and becoming, oh my gosh, am I going to say it? A builder? <laughs> you know me, I like to become an all-around Minecraft player, you know, on redstone and, and building and, and even dabble in some parkour and PvP with the MCC stuff I do. So uh, this feels really good to start to get some, some more skills built up in my repertoire and yeah i agree I, I really like the way this came out i was super happy with it and um thank you guys thank you guys so much but today i want to shift my focus a little bit we've got some unfinished projects um yeah one that we started with Skizzleman a long time ago in fact you guys might not even remember this yep remember this uh, giant hole in the in the ground and massive massive cactus farm and kelp farm that we kind of ran out of redstone for but it seems to be producing just enough anyway so we could move forward with this and skills of man was out of town as i mentioned before and he's back now and so i want to get together because our plan for this was to create xp machines like basically little banks that you can come up to pull the xp out of the furnace at any given time and you get at least 30 levels however skizzle man being skizzle man oh oh i could do shimmy shake oh look at that <laughs> I thought it was just on the horses and then they fixed that, but we could do it on the ladder. All right. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> that always gets me every time. But yeah, Skizzleman went and had to add some requirements to the mix that made it so it was going to be a little more difficult, a little more redstone heavy than just your typical furnace machine that you can pull XP out of. Yeah, he wants indicators and stuff. And so that's why I hadn't finished this up yet because... I was a little bit worried, one, that I wasn't going to be able to fit the redstone in this area, uh, and two, I wanted to do it with him. Um, you know, Skizzleman, I'm sure he'd like to learn some redstone from me, and uh, I like teaching as well. So I have spent some time in creative and figured out a way to wire up both of these banks right here. We do have to swap a couple things around, but I do have a way to wire it up so that we can have these lights turn on when this is ready to pull XP, meaning there's at least 30 levels of XP ready to go. And that was the idea. So I am going to start digging this out. I'm going to start getting some redstone together and I'm going to go bug Skizzle Man. Tell him it's time to get online because I'm ready to tackle this project once and for all. Skiz, welcome back, buddy. Hey, man. So good to have you back, man. You were gone for what felt like eight years. Give or take. I was. A year or two. I was gone forever. And even <laughs> when I came back, I was still had sort of like a spotty presence for a little bit because there's so much to do. But Yeah, that's but the way it always is, up. right? When you go on vacation, there's a whole bunch you got to do before vacation. Then when you get back, you got a whole bunch of catching up to do. But yeah. uh, hopefully you're getting settled in now. I got to tell you, though, I've been waiting on you, man. I've been waiting. We, we, we started a project and then we didn't finish it. We just kind of left it. Yeah, it's the worst <laughs> feeling. I hate that. It. So I just reminded everybody that we had like those farms that we did. I mean, that was a lot of work, man. We made cactus farm, yeah. we made the kelp farm, with a lot of digging and a lot of building of the farms, and then we never actually put together the XP banks. But I did no, put together. It's, it's time. I time put to together this the shop here or, or this this know, kind of teller interface. Cool. I dude, I can't tell you how many times Green has asked me if this is working yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's literally come here and like tried to pull XP from this facade of a, a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good look though. Okay, so this is the idea that you uh this, this from a from an aesthetic standpoint, I really what is happening? How are these what? Talk explain. Explain what? Okay. What which part? How come these bottles are floating in there? Oh, I mean, armor stand magic. Ooh, that's a whole okay. nother uh skill set here on Hermitcraft that uh we'll yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get you thing, into that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean it started with Cleo being the expert on it, but um she's kind of little by little taught a whole bunch of us and, and we've kind of come into our own as well. So I've made a few things with armor stands. Dude, I made a drum set last season. It was Oh, I it do was remember cool. that. yeah. So, yeah, these are just uh, armor stands holding XP bottles kind of floating in the glass. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to remove them. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Yeah, you know, okay, so here's the thing. 
you didn't want just any kind of generic XP bank system. You you wanted like indicators and stuff, which which makes sense. You know, when you walk up to yeah. the uh, the ATM and you want to make a withdrawal, it's nice to know that it actually has the money in it, right? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and so uh, that idea is a great one. However, uh, from a technical standpoint, was not easy. <laughs> I imagine. I here, here's how things work. All right, listen up, everybody. This is how things work. This is how it's always work when it comes to the friendship that I got with Nepal. I think it's I think it's something neat, and my brain starts working on it. And I'm all mm, nope, nope. Impulse. This is this is very difficult. You figure it out, and I stop thinking about it. So you're telling me you figured it out? I did. Yeah, I spent some time in creative oh. mode with dabbling with some redstone and stuff, and uh, I I just have to switch these lights to the other side is all. And and I think I have enough space behind these to make it work. So, yeah, I was thinking about getting the, the redstone installed, and then uh, I'll show you how it works. I'll give you a little redstone uh, kind of tutorial thing and kind of walk you through it. Does that sound good? Okay. That sounds great. Are you going to be – are you going to have a – like, uh, is it going to have the ability to auto calibrate when the rotor specs become a, I'm a moron. Uh, let me know how it goes. All right. Skiz is off getting ready to do a live stream. I have dug out some space behind my storage room and this is pretty tight. I'm hoping this redstone fits. <laughs> this may be problematic. I mean, there's not much I can do about it. I'm not moving my storage room. So yeah, let's just hope that what I designed in creative is actually going to fit in here. That was uh, <laughs> definitely a tight squeeze in here, for sure. <laughs> I had to get a little creative with ooh, picking up cactus. Had to get a little creative with some of the distribution systems, but um, I think it's working now. Yeah, the biggest thing, and I didn't do it with the cactus because I assumed the cactus was coming in fast enough, but apparently it's not. Otherwise, this would be full all the time. Um, so this first bank here is going to. Be ready before the other one and i can probably just go downstairs and tweak that by right now this is only using like one fourth of the cactus farm so i can just double that and we'll probably be good and this one here though is for the dried kelp which comes in a lot slower so in order to make sure that we separated this evenly for both atms i have this system that kind of like goes around drops one item in there and then goes around over here drops one item in there and then back so it kind of keeps it even and this is just waiting to get enough items before it can head on so that's how the items are getting into the furnace but the real you know what I, i'm gonna invite skiz over because I, I got a feeling he's gonna ask a bunch of questions and i'm just gonna end up explaining the system to him so might as well explain it to him and you at the same time Whew. okay i'm gonna put him in here yeah you heard me uh where's the hey buddy what's up <laughs> this <is> pop up <laughs> I saw oh, you fly you? by, and uh, I, I was, uh, I'm done with the redstone of the XP bank, and I was oh, about yeah. to explain, you know, to the viewers and stuff, like, how it worked, and then I realized I was probably going to also have to explain to you how it worked. But we do this in one shot. So maybe we could kill two birds with one stone, and I'll come show you, and you can take a peek at the redstone. I gotta say, it's tight. <laughs> It was it? a tight squeeze, so it's going to be a little rough to see it and explain it. But I, I think we should try it. I think we should go over, and I want to show you uh, exactly what's going on with this XP bank. And hopefully it's working. I have not tested it, so uh, we'll, we'll we'll do it live, yeah? <laughs> we'll do it live. Let's go check it out, man. This should work. Now, you see the lights aren't on yet because it hasn't been running long enough. But let's let's go inside. This is going to... 
Yeah, this is going to so, blow your mind. <laughs> you know, it's it's pretty crazy how, like, one little, you know, requirement, like, I want the light to come on when it reaches a certain yeah. level, like, made yeah. this thing absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. So, okay. here's the thing. What we need to do is we need to understand when the minecart is full, right? So, you see how we have, like, this chest minecart up here? As soon as it's yeah. full of items, that's pretty much meaning that... It's enough for close to 30 levels of, of XP. It's it's not quite perfect, but it's close. And so what I did was I made it so that this will get ejected basically once it completely fills up with the green dye that's smelting and coming out of the furnaces. And then okay. that's what turns the light on. But okay. here's the thing. We just filled a minecart with green dye. And we got to do something with that. So if you would, I'm going to I'm going to fill it manually. Just so that you can see it. Uh, let's see. Where's a good viewing area for this? Come on. Come on down. Come on down here, maybe. Okay, okay. And, okay. and maybe... Here, let me let me remove these. Let me get those out of the way. Just just watch this area. <laughs> Would probably watch be good. This area. Okay, yeah. watch it. Okay, all right. Let me get myself situated so I can go load this up. Oh, my gosh. This is, I, this is crazy town. Like I can't move in here. pieces of this machine I would have never thought. I, I, I'm just like, my brain's like, what is happening? Okay, here we go. There's, this makes no sense. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to load this card up. Here's what happens when it gets enough smelted that we're at close to 30 levels of XP. It has to turn a light on, and then it needs to empty itself. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Did you see that? I, I saw it come in and like a organized dump truck, like dump yep. stuff into the cactus and then go to the right. Exactly. Exactly. And so now this mine cart with the chest in it is empty. It completely emptied itself and it turned the light on above. I think we're going to have to go check if it didn't work, then I messed something up. And so basically now that's, that means the system's good. It's, it's ready for somebody to come pull XP. It, had it actually come through the the furnace, you know, on its own, not be with me filling it. But, um, Dude, yeah, so that's it. And then once they once they um, pull their XP, they gotta just click a little thing, and then that resets the system and tells it that it's ready to go for another round. Should we go up top so and see now if it works? Once it, yeah, yeah. But once it does that, is it still collecting XP? Yep. Even yeah. though the lights on. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Gosh, so right now awesome. it's gonna it's gonna keep filling up. And if it fills up all the way again, it'll empty itself again. Um, so literally, if, if you like, if we let this sit and don't pull XP for like a month, you could get like over 100 levels um, in theory. So it's yeah, that was the problem with one of the other systems I designed was it just shut itself off and it and then wasted the rest. And I didn't want to waste it. So no. Yeah. yeah so let's go. Up top. OK, good. The lights on. The lights on. Now you won't get Look thirty. You won't get thirty levels. But here's how it works. You come up here. You step on this pressure plate, and what that does is it holds an item in the furnace. So that's what you need to do. You need to be able to pull an item out of the furnace. So go ahead and step up to that pressure plate there. Okay. We go. Let step me see. On it. And okay. All right. Yeah. If you got anything you yeah. want to repair, hold it in your hand. It's not going to be thirty levels. There you go. Yeah, because we just yeah, because you just did. Yeah, because yeah, I faked that it. It's awesome. And yeah. now I want to. You got to turn the light so, off, saying so the system knows it's it's not full anymore. So just right click that that note block. We're gonna have to leave instructions, I think. There you go, light off. <laughs> there you go. And the next time, and, and so Shut that also up. that also should have sent the chest in for another dump, <laughs> so that it's empty again to start over completely. Right when you did that, yeah. And then that way, for sure, next time it's gonna be another thirty um, levels or so, and then it'll turn back on. And then you, there you so, go. If somebody fails to turn the light off, it's still going to keep collecting. It'll still keep collecting. Yeah, it's just then then it's like not guaranteed that when somebody else comes up that they're going to have 30 levels. So hopefully people remember to turn the light off. We'll, we'll put a sign on here. Please, you know, right click this note block yeah. to turn the light off after you pull <laughs> your XP. You know, right now, you know, yeah, this is our bank for this is for me and you, we, you know, All <laughs> until right. we have our, our proper training course for the rest of the hermits that may may come by here. Bop and go, man. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Skids. We wanted to play. Yeah. Yeah, when you pull the XP out, basically, I think when we when bop, we turn bop, the light bop, off, bop, bop. when we hit the note block, yeah. let's yeah. make it play bop. Let's make it play yeah. the bop song. Yeah, I love it. I love this idea. Okay. I love this I'm idea. I'm not done. I I'm not done. That I will do. <laughs> that I will I will find a way to make it fit. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs>
Very I'm gonna, good. I'm good gonna make it a, a small range, maybe five blocks, because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could imagine Joel not being too happy if Bop is constantly playing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it won't even be that constant because if you think about it, these are only going to come on. Actually, how long do you think it takes to to get full and light up? I have no idea. Have done, I've never, yeah, I've never uh -huh. sat here. I don't have the patience for that. I've never oh, I was sat thinking here like between waited. the two of them, we're looking at a maximum of maybe four times a day. I don't think you'll have a problem with that. Maybe, maybe yeah. longer. I don't this know. This is great. That's a whole. That's a whole chest of uh, cactus green that's got to fill up. That could take a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't uh, calculated the speed of furnace smelting and twenty-seven stacks. Somebody, somebody in the comments will do it for us. Thank you for doing math for us. Appreciate it. Can't wait to read the comments. Let me tell you. This is why you all need to have an impulse in your life. Okay, having impulse as my buddy is like having my own Chat GPT. I, just, I, I, I have an idea and I just feed it into the yellow box, and then what I want actually spits out something gorgeous I never could have done. But half the time is completely <laughs> wrong as well. Yeah. Uh <laughs> oh, really oh, good, man. man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, yeah. Now that we've got this kind of one done. If this works out, we'll we'll test it for a little bit. I say we expand and see if any of the other mountaineers, magical mountain folks, whatever they're called, uh, we're called, wants more of these systems. You know, we could we we built big enough farms. We could probably install one for everybody if we if we if they wanted so, it. So I think that's awesome. And I was actually thinking this will be a good way for us to gauge as to whether or not that there's any sort of value in that yeah yeah so like my point being this if this becomes something that's so coveted people are like it's never it's always empty that's when we're like okay we got to make more you know yes what I mean? yes exactly yeah. i know green Very will be good. here once a day <laughs> yeah because that's how <laughs> often he asks me and right on cue here he comes before i even got a chance to test it myself let's see how much he got real curious 36 all right he tested for us he got 36 levels. It is working. That's perfect. Okay, so now we should have our jukebox installed. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, I'm not even gonna try to pull XP, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this, and that would simulate getting the XP and then turning the system back off. Yes! <laughs> now, I made the range on this thing very, very short. So you're literally only gonna hear it as you're standing here. If you guys want to hear the whole thing, you're going to have to hit the link in the description. Check out the Ellie Beatmaker mix on YouTube. Full song. One of the advantages of live streaming is sometimes people say smart things with their faces. Well, I guess with their fingers in this case because it's typed out chat. Uh, had a great suggestion to make it so that it actually goes off as they're waiting at the pressure plate instead of as they turn it off. Oh, it's going to play again. Ooh, way to go. Good job. So it turns out it was a good thing we did move it because in doing so, we discovered a bug with the way I had set it up. Okay, we're done. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Flawless redstone with impulse today. You're welcome. All right, this should definitely work this time. Worked out all the redstone bugs. Uh, here we go. I hate everything. Would you pull it together? B-dubs? Yeah. This is stupid. Come on. <laughs> Come on, figure this thing out for goodness sakes. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right. Wait, well, maybe with our two brains combined, we can get this. Okay, All right, okay, we'll okay. This. Perfect redstone Let's... would be dubs time. Okay. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Pick one, anyone. Right. Stay there. Nothing. Nothing. But you when you get off, it's gonna do it. There it goes. <laughs> Reverse powered. Good job. Okay. The other one's working perfectly. Yeah, go ahead. Step on the, the one on the right. And it stops yep. right away. Ooh, way to go. Yep. Good job. Yep. Unless the other one's going. Are you going to bop it up? <laughs> I can bop if you want to. Let's go. You can bop if you want to. Okay, hold on. Did, did that just go up there? It, I got it. I got okay, it. Sweet, I got it. Sweet. I, I, I really, uh, actually, I'm here uh, for disc grabbing. So you can just <laughs> this was this was a two-man job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This definitely was a yeah. two-man job. I've been struggling on my own for sure. Okay, uh, I got the records for you if you need. Great. Okay, let's see. This one should. This is insane. Yeah. This is insane. Whatever's happening here doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any. sense. They are the exact same setup 
We're not on, I just checked, nothing crazy like chunk borders or anything like no. that. There's no, no crazy weird, well, okay, I lied. This is actually on a chunk border, but that's the working one. <laughs> yeah, and that shouldn't matter. You wouldn't think so. If you do the standard two by two yep. loop, yep. it doesn't work. You get the 50-50 play. What the heck is that? Because the, the jukebox powers when there's a disc in it, right? Yes. And that is up and above to the left of the dropper down below. Mm -hmm. So that, you, that you're getting some kind of weird... I never understood it. But, but when you eject you the, the standard, disc, right? The jukebox right. should no longer be given off power. But right. the dropper never gets an update. So it keeps thinking Correct. it's quasi powered. It thinks it's powered. So uh -huh. the next time you power okay. it, it's like, yeah, no, I'm good. The dropper needs to get an update. You can't do the two yeah. by two with just two hoppers and a little tiny square. Oh, I'll figure it out. Enjoy. Then. It sounds like you got plenty of space down there, <laughs> dude. That's a good thing. So good luck with that. <laughs> uh, this it was oh, supposed no. to be banging my head. Good classic case of bud power T flip flop cause connectivity. Called from start. Green <laughs> says. <laughs> oh. Okay. Tango, when are we gonna learn? When are we gonna learn? Never, ever, 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 ever do redstone on stream. Ever. Here we go. It takes a little bit of time, but at least it works. Okay. Whew, glad that's behind us. Hey, B-Dumps. Well, yeah. I was going to let this happen organically. Mm-hmm. Can we take a walk? Yeah, let's take a walk. All right. I just okay. want to show you. I... I I know you kind of have like your builds and I kind of have my builds and I was hoping it was okay with you if I crossed that line just a little bit. Um, yeah. Add a little bit of detail to some of the things that you've been doing. Okay. I just want to see if you'll actually notice though. I, I kept right. it pretty minimal. I will so, notice. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know you're, you, you, you notice every <laughs> pixel, every pixel. You noticed when I put the, the, the frog lights backwards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Even though they're covered with pressure plates. Okay. Yes. Any anything stand out? Anything new to you? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Signs are still crooked. <laughs> yep. Those aren't fixed yet. No, no. Um Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I don't have the money, dude. I don't have the money, so <laughs> I have it. I have it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna hold you uh I'm not gonna hold you accountable for what you said there. But, I uh, told I told Impulse <laughs> on Discord I would give him ten thousand dollars cash if he figured out how to put grass on none. How did you do it? <laughs> how did you do it? If I figured out how to put grass on stone, he was gonna give me ten thousand dollars. Real money is what he said. <laughs> oh, this is armor stands. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. I didn't think about that. I didn't think if I knew if I if I thought about armor stands, I would have said maybe like fifty dollars. <laughs> okay. I went a little bit further than that. You may notice that that some of these uh, <laughs> some of these look a little different than normal grass. Like, see how this one's darker? Yeah. Yeah. Check, take a look. Watch. Look at that. Oh man! It's, Whoa! It, wait! Oh, it's a custom model. It's a custom model. Oh. Yeah, it's a custom model, and I hid the item frame. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> uh, let me but you could here you real could quick. do armor stands and position them anywhere you want. Um, but yeah, look over here. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> let me check. Oh, I'm wearing it on my head. Wait, what do I look like? Yeah, yeah, it's a pumpkin. Let's see. Oh, I don't see it I'm at all. I'm wearing it. Oh, you uh, don't see it? No, I don't see it at all. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's coming out your... I like this shade. This shade I like. You know what? Yeah. I think they're... Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a variation is nice. That's yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, we don't want to go crazy with it, obviously. Entities and item frames and stuff, but... Uh... <laughs> Dude. I was... I put these down yesterday, and I've just been waiting for that message on Discord. I've been waiting. Checks in the mail. <laughs> Like, like, I know I said this, but, uh. <laughs> well, I'm going to be careful of my challenges. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodness sakes. All right, so. You going to send that uh, wire or mail or how, how do you, you want to send that at 10 Gs? 
Oh, uh, it'll be like a bank transfer okay. from, um, <laughs> like, well, uh, um, I, uh, all right. It has been a while since I've checked on our court stand here, and I'm kind of curious to see how many diamonds we have collected. Okay, so somebody did pay with diamond ore. That's absolutely fine because we can fortune three it, and I got a feeling they probably overpaid anyway. So, oh. <laughs> okay, um, now I gotta be careful. I wanna keep track of how many diamonds we get today because we're gonna put it in our ledger, um, which we will maybe upgrade the trophy? Yeah, we might, we might, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. We might make enough to actually get an upgraded trophy today. That's cool. Holy cow. Okay, these, <sighs> Quartz has definitely sold way better than I could have imagined. I had no idea that the Hermits would be this desperate for Quartz. And... It's actually been pretty slow for me to get, even from the bartering system. So I'm thinking I might up my quartz intake. Uh, we might have to do it. We might have to actually get villagers and do a you know combination of bartering and villager trading in order to keep up with the demand of quartz here. All right, let's see. Let's fortune these up. What was there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I don't know how many quartz they actually bought with these ten ore. Um, but let's find out what we get. In fact, uh, ooh, I almost want to, here, let's toss these down so we don't get them mixed up. And let's see. Okay, so we got more than double out of the ore. Could have been better, but 22, I'll take it. All right, sweet. So we got 121 diamonds to add to our ledger. Okay, so so far we've made 180 diamonds from quartz, and we need to add 121 to that, which brings our total to 301. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And, uh... Yeah, I did need those diamonds. I was, once again, completely broke. So now the question is, with that many diamonds, over 300 made, I think there's a 250 trophy that we could upgrade our trophy already. Oh, right, there was this page of the book. I can only purchase the 100 trophy here. Uh, the other amounts, 250, can be in the mail system, right? We gotta use the mail system. So how do I tell them which one we went? Send your one diamond block to the sales shop, and you'll receive the next trophy level. Okay, so he just knows that we're at two, we're at 100, so he'll up us by one. Okay, all right, diamond block, our note, damp in here, go into Azuma, pop that there, and off it goes. All right, we will wait for a response from Azuma. In the meantime, let's get some villagers bred up. Uh, I think I wanna get some masons and uh, maybe some other ones, like a armor or something. Uh, we can probably trade iron. The other night, Tango, me, and Skiz fixed the iron farm. We had a couple cells that were short a couple villagers. We're not sure what happened to them. Probably suffocated in the wall is what we assume. But, uh, yeah, we got that fixed, and hopefully we'll have enough iron. And I can just trade, get emeralds from that. And then we can use those emeralds to buy from the masons and get ourselves some easy quartz. Well, it seems the villager breeding is coming along just fine. And I guess they caught a glimpse of the zombies through there. Got scared enough to spawn this guy in. I guess he can stay. He's a nice protector of this space. But, oh my gosh, look at this. There's uh, just a few in here that we'll use to, you know, get some emeralds. And definitely need to get those masons going. So I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to keep them here and we'll just keep them in this room. So yeah, uh, it's going to be difficult to dig this out, isn't it, with these guys in here, but I'm going to try. All right, after some pushing and shoving, I finally got all the villagers in place and they are standing, even though you can't see it, on carpet on top of sweetberry bushes that are fully grown. So I think that should help reduce some lag with the AI as far as I know. And now I just need to trade with these guys to unlock the iron trade so that I can get even more emeralds. And then we need to start unlocking all the mason ones so that we can get down to quartz. So, yeah, I got a lot of trading ahead of me. <sighs> lots of trading, lots of trading. We've got ourselves some emeralds now, and I've unlocked every single one of these masons to the point to where they have quartz. So we're finally able to do this and I want to see how much I can get from going through the whole row how many emeralds is it going to cost me I mean it is nice that it's only one emerald for one block of quartz that's not bad 
I might want to see if I can uh, strike up a deal with Tango to get Emerald since he's got himself a very powerful raid farm. Uh, maybe he can show me how to use it and I can kind of like earn my own. Maybe kind of like the deal I did with Etho and using the Froglight farm. We'll see what he wants in return. Uh, he does have Redstone as his permit, so potentially I could trade him some Quartz. But yeah, I'm, I'm out of iron and I've been trading with these guys for... Oh, I haven't even unlocked yet. Uh... Yeah, okay, so we'll wait for these to unlock. So it looks like every time we go through, we're going to get 84 because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might want to get more. Uh, this is probably not going to cut it, uh, but emeralds are probably going to end up being my bottleneck. Okay, so they just... Oh, I thought he reset. He had the particles like he reset. What did you do? Did I just click into him too soon? No. Um, that's weird. Uh-oh. He didn't reset, but he did. Ooh, see, sometimes they get confused about their workstations. I think those particles were more like him picking a workstation he can't reach. Let's try this. Ooh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, XP. Oh, uh, my game sounds are down because the uh, zombies were being loud. Uh, the XP's getting stuck back there? Okay, I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, there's some, some built-up XP back there. But now reset. All right, we'll come back to him. Let's see if we can go through again. Oh, see, that XP flew over. I don't know what that other one was stuck on. And here's another guy that didn't reset. Ooh, this setup might not be good. We might still need to physically separate them because they're getting, like, confused at which station they own and not always resetting. Okay. All right. That's a that's a bummer. It's, I thought they had fixed that, and they would always just go for whatever was closest. But it doesn't seem to be the case here because they're not opening up every single time. Okay, this one did finally open back up. And how about you at the end? Nope. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> all that for not even two stacks of quartz. Oh. So back to the gold farm we go. I'm going to come back to using this one for now until I have a better source of emeralds because it just takes way too long to wait for villagers to unlock. And uh, and this is also, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just grind. Let me turn these guys down. This is where I will be in between episodes, and we will get our quartz shop restocked first thing next time I see you guys. But that'll do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.